up, yo. Brooklyn, what up, y'all? Give it up for yourselves. Y'all looking good? A little three-hour show. We looking good. Ladies, y'all looking good. We wigs looking good. Weave looking good. Give it up for yourselves, ladies. Y'all looking good in here, man. Word. Everybody's selling weave these days. I seen Home Depot got a section. I said, Home Depot selling weave. They got weave by the hammers now. I said, what the hell? Everybody selling weave. What the fuck? It is a come up. Ladies, y'all looking good, though. I see y'all coming in here with y'all nice little heels on. I like, like ladies, when y'all wear y'all nice little heels. I like a little classy look. I, I mean, I like the heels. I just, I, you, you gotta throw them heels away when they start looking bad, though. You gotta store them. I'm not a heel expert. I just know a good heel when I see one. That's all I'm saying. I know when that heel wear down, you better throw them shits away. I know you better throw them shits away. I see one girl in the club leaning. She didn't even know she was leaning. One heel was up, one heel was down. I see, you need to even them out, baby. You need to even them out. I like the little peep toe heels, too. I like the little peep toe. So a little peep toe of the heel, a little, a little toes. In. But I don't think four toes are supposed to be coming through the peep toe. I don't think four toes are supposed to be coming through the peep toe. I can see your whole ankle through the peep toe, bitch. Yo. That is a sandal now. That is a sandal. That is not a peep toe. I don't like a lot of makeup either. I don't like a lot of makeup. I don't like, and I'm not a big fan of a lot of makeup. I like natural beauty. I don't like a lot. Of, I call it face paint. Ain't no way makeup supposed to be on your face this damn thick, looking like a suede mask. I seen one girl in the club. She had on makeup, lashes, and a wig. Ain't that a disguise, bitch? Who is you hiding from, bitch? You under, you under protective custody, bitch? You under. What is really going on? What is really going on? I don't know who you is right now. You is hiding. You got secrets. That's what it is. Any couples in the house? Any couples? Any couples? Couple couples in the house? That's what's up, man. Got to keep the relationship strong, man. Don't do, I, don't, I ain't a fan of domestic violence. Don't be hitting your women. Do not be hitting your women. Do not. When I get in arguments with my girlfriend, I just do funny stuff to her, like put mayonnaise in her Uggs. Just do fun. Yeah, I just, it's, fu it's funny, it's funny. When you put your foot in your Ugg and the mayonnaise come out the side, you ever seen that? Or I do other funny stuff too, like, I do other funny stuff too, like uh, hide her foundation. Mm-hmm, hide that foundation. Wear your regular face today, wear your regular face today, bitch. Be you. She in the house turning over couches for that foundation. Where's my foundation? It's gone. <laughs> fellas, we, be got, we have it bad too, fellas. We gotta start taking care of our teeth. Take care of your teeth, fellas. Please, no matter how much money you got, get that grill fixed, brothers. Word, I know, I know, I went to school with this one brother. He about 32 right now. Teeth are like, he's 68. <laughs> they all broke off, cricket, and jagged up. Every time he smiled, it like somebody peeking out some dirty blinds. I said, nigga, it look like somebody peeking out your mouth, nigga. He could bite it. He could bite into little. He could bite into cookie dough at Christmas time and make little shapes for the kids. Christmas trees. He is. She like that. Get them teeth together, boy. Ladies, ladies, take care of their teeth. They take care of their motherfucking teeth. Breath just be shitty as a motherfucker. <laughs> All that strawberry mango lip gloss, you ain't even worry about how your breath smell. You just, buy me a drink. She in the club, buy me a drink. I just looked at her ass. Bartender, can you get this bitch a Listerine on the rocks? <laughs> and a shot of Febreze, please. <laughs> can you break a candy cane up in that motherfucker too? Break a candy cane. It was strong. It was strong. <laughs> just got out, recent, recently got out of a relationship though. I just broke up with this girl. She was skinny as hell. I tried something new. She was real skinny. She had this fat son though. I called him fat boy. Ain't no way he five years old, weighed 225 pounds. Mm-hmm. Five years old, know how to make his own lasagna. <laughs> that shit was good as a bitch too, I had. I had seconds, motherfucker. 
Big little boy. He he got he got steak and uh sunflower seed scented incense in his room. Like he, that's weird shit. He don't he don't play with toys. He in the tub with Cornish hands and fruit roll ups. Sasson pack is everywhere around that motherfucker. Water raw orange. Get your fat ass out the tub. Fat ass out the tub. Who take a bath with Cornish hands? You is greedy boy. His mom's skinny as hell. She get on my nerves. Skinny. Every time I lay with her, it feel like I'm laying with butter knives. She was scratching me and shit. She's skinny as hell. She was trying to put on lingerie. It be all loose. She had a safety pin holding up her G-string. She had her tube socks. I said, tube socks don't go with that, bitch. You is not wearing that right. Uh, I'm just trying to come up to do this comedy thing and come up, man, to try to make some money in this comedy world, man, because regular jobs ain't paying nothing. My job ain't paying nothing at home. I went to check cash my check at the check cashing place. He going to cash my check out his pocket. I said, nigga, you, I said, you ain't going to go to the back of nothing. You had the right amount in your pocket. I am broke. I am broke. I need another job. Just trying to stay out of trouble, man. Stay out of jail. Just trying to stay out of jail, man. Is jail the new Six Flags? Is it rising? I don't know what is going on. Everybody going to jail. What the hell is going on? Did they got rides in there or something? Is this some? Is a special? Is a sale going on? My friend just got 25 years in jail. 25. Same thing I said. So, ooh. Go get some rest, bro. Go get some rest. You've been, you've been running these streets for a long time. Now it's time for you to catch up on some sleep, bro. 25 years worth of sleep. See how you feel after that. I can't do no jail at all. I did four days. It felt like 15 in life, motherfucker. Four days. I was stressed out. My bill was $35. Ain't nobody come get me. $35, anybody come get me? Y'all ain't gonna come get me, uh, we're gonna call you. Never mind, don't call nobody, I'll wait for pretrial. I want everybody in my business over $35. For four days, felt like 15 in life, I wrote a letter. How you, how you in jail for four days and you write a letter? They gave it back to me with my property, like you could take it home yourself, we ain't have time. We ain't have time to mail it out. You can, you can take it home yourself, brother. For real. It's just a real troublesome world we live in, so violent. Went to the store the other day and see an old man get robbed. Some young dude ran up on him, took his wallet, stabbed him, and looked at me. I said, run, boy, what are you waiting on? You ain't got time to stab me, you ain't got time. I stood underneath the camera like, you come in this area, you're gonna get seen. You better, you better not come in this area. I'm in camera view, boy. You better not. I'm, I'm not going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere, boy. From a poor part of Rochester, man, grew up in Rochester, man. We was poor, struggling, but we had love, man. We had love, that's what we had. Word, we had love, we grew up struggling. My mom was a strong black woman, I love her to death for that. But we just ain't never had no babysitter. We just ain't never had no babysitter. My mom used to, remember, my mom used to leave us home by herself. What she used to say, don't open that door for nobody. I don't care who it is. We need to open the door for our daddy. You better wait for my mom to come back, boy. You better wait. And you ain't paid your child support this week, slide it under the door, I'll get it. I wasn't opening that door for nobody. Especially after I got my ass for opening the door for the renter center man. Mm-hmm. That's when I found out the whole dining room set was in my name. I said, God damn. You said I couldn't play on it, but it's really mine, man. You is out of control. Matter of fact, get my social security card. You was acting up. You was acting up. 
I was the only seven-year-old walking around with a security social security card in his pocket. There won't be nothing else in my name around this month. I am taking charge of this. It was hard growing up. It was hard. We struggled, man. But you know what I mean? Around certain times of the year was difficult, but we, like I said, we got through it. Like Halloween was different. You know, we was poor, so everybody couldn't get costumes. Somebody had to wear makeup and shit. My cousins got on Batman and Superman costumes. I got on mascara and eyeshadow. One of my grandma wigs tilted to the side. Trick or treat! You know, white people, they ask, what are you, little boy? What are you? I'm confused and shit. What the fuck? I'm a zombie drag queen, bitch. Now give me some candy. I'm a, I'm a zombie drag queen. You know I don't know what the hell I am. We had to deal with it, though, because you couldn't trick or treat in the hood. They ain't give you nothing in the hood. Nothing. I went trick or treating one year in the hood. This dude opened this door and gave every kid one Dorito. I said, dude, you need to shut your lights off, dude. You need to shut your lights off. This is over. Matter of fact, take some of my candy and go lay down. Go lay down. Christmas was tough because we ain't had no chimney. We lived in the hood. We ain't had no chimney. I done broke this the mic stand. Don't charge me for that. We ain't had no chimney. So I ain't believe in Santa Claus. Christmas Eve come, my mom shutting all the doors, locking all the windows. We like, how the fuck we gonna get in? How he, how he gonna get in, ma? We must ain't getting nothing. But my mom was a strong black woman, though. She made sure she, we knew that she got us everything for Christmas. She made sure of that. Saying they ain't get your shit. Your sorry ass daddy ain't get your shit. I bought that shit, goddamn it. I bought it. That was cool. It was just the stuff that we was getting. We was getting stuff that everybody in the house could use. Universal remote controls and shit. Salt and pepper shakers. Where is my shit, mom? I need some personals right now. White people, man, they white people in the building, Anyone, ain't none in here, all right, okay, I can talk about them then. White people crazy as hell, man. I seen this white lady walking in the park with her son and her dog the other day. She had her son on the leash and she was carrying the dog. I said, what the fuck? What the hell? Her son had on diapers and flip flops, the dog had on the whole outfit. I said, this bitch confused. Somebody need to call CPS on this bitch. This bitch it's out of control. And they be texting like a mother, boy. I swear, I was walking by this girl, and she, the white girl was texting in the mall. She bumped right into him. Y'all mushed her. She took it and kept texting. I said, this, he said, texting is not that serious, Mary Beth. She took the whole mush and kept texting. I said, this girl's out of control. I like tattoos. Anybody like tattoos in here? I got a hand tattoo, a couple tattoo fans. I like tattoos. I love tattoos. I just, I just don't think you should get, I don't like face uh, portraits. Face portraits? I don't like face portraits at all. I don't think you should get those. Because I just think that your body can change, you know? And it might not look like that person, you know, you wanted to look like. Because my cousin got her son tattooed on her a couple years ago. Ever since then, she lost a little weight. Now I look like Judge Mathis. I said, that is Judge Mathis. You is a true fan. You is a true fan. <laughs> or Jesus Christ. Why do we get Jesus Christ on us? And we don't even know how this man look. I can't wait till we get here. <laughs> then when he ain't the person you got on your arm, what you gonna do? Now you going to hell because this whole time you've been praising Fabio. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Christina Aguilera on the cross. What the hell? Who is that on your arm, brother? Y'all been watching the reality shows and all that stuff? Y'all like Empire? Empire? You know, all the people? Uh, okay. Yeah, Power? Yeah, I like Power. I, I, I kind of deterred away from Empower, um, um, Empire. Empower. I put them both together. That's my own show coming out 2027. That's, a, that's both of them together. I'm going to do it like, I'm gonna do it like that. <laughs> but I, I, I kind of steered away from Empire when the first season I seen uh, Lucius put his son in the garbage can when he found out he was gay. 
when you put the heels on him, he says, I said that was some bull, man. I ain't watching this no more. Because regardless of what your kids is, you're supposed to love him regardless. So, you know what I mean? I ain't like that part. I ain't like that at all. But I wanted to see if my son was gay. You know what I'm saying? So I put some heels in his room when he was asleep. Put some heels in his room. Put some heels in his room when he was asleep. When he woke up, he picked up the heels and took them in his mom's room. I was like, yes! Woo! Close call, my son ain't gay. Five minutes later, he came out with a whole different pair of heels. Like, Daddy, I like these better. That's my time, y'all. G fuck. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, come on, y'all. G fuck, baby. Yeah.